Over the past few months, I have been designing and developing my own Oracle card deck. And today within this video, I wanted to share it with you all, as only today I received them in the post. So within this video, I'm going to be providing you with a little bit of a sneak peek of the cards as I will be unboxing them for you. What I will say is there are some minor shifts and changes that I will have to make with the designs. But this is basically the final version of the cards that will soon be available to purchase. So let me share them with you now. So here, first of all, is the box for the Oracle cards. And on the on the front of the box, it's got that symbol, that symbol, that's the, the shamanic symbol for the soul. And that's known as the sacred spiral of life. It's said that as we grow and evolve, we ascend our consciousness and we rise up within that spiral. And many of you who know my work with the soul pathway, it's very much a linear process. But what I will say is that when it comes to your spiritual journey, yes, it's not linear, but the soul pathway helps you understand it from a human experience as we grow, evolve and transcend our consciousness. So that's what I thought I'd share with you before we jump into the cards themselves. So let's go back to this, to the booklet here. So the booklet is in the final stages of editing. So I don't have them within this, you know, box at the moment. But when I provide you with a reading in just a moment, what I will do is read out the descriptions from you know my computer here so that you can have you know a little reading from the collective from my new deck so let me put that to one side the box to one side and i'll show you the card so we'll go from the top within this deck there's 55 cards so i have spirit animals which you can see there are quite a few spirit animals. I don't know the exact number of them, but there are a lot of spirit animals within this deck. Then after your spirit animals, we got the moons, we've got the new moon and the full moon. And then we've got the elements, the elements of water, fire, earth and air. And then we've got the different aspects of our soul tribe or our karmic circle. So you've got the shadow, the shapeshifters, tricksters. And we go to our soul tribe, the divine feminine, which helps us connect with our inner self. It's beautiful. And you've got the sidekicks that you meet on your journey that are always there to guide and support you. Beautiful people. Threshold guardians that help you cross, cross the threshold of adventure so that you can move forward on your journey and embark on the next phase. Mentors are always a keeper person on your journey so that's a beautiful card to have then you've got the hero and heroine which is yourself which is this card is really calling you to step into your purpose and your passion and things like that and then obviously we've got the archetype cards and the archetype cards for me are very important as well archetypes help us connect with our own consciousness and what is going on within us so with regards to the fool the fool can be active within the start of our journey where we like to um, be very much a joker you like like to connect with the fun and the joy of life but what is interesting about the fool at the beginning of the journey they don't take life too seriously it's very much a joke to them so that's the shadow aspect of the fool um but when you become the wise fool and you awaken your consciousness and you shift your consciousness you sort of connect with the joy and the fun of life, but you also have that, well, you connect with your inner child, which is the fun and playful aspect, but you also have, you know, not taking life too seriously as well. So that's a, that's a beautiful card, but I thought I'd mention that through there. You've got the sage, the sage is, is about noticing and uncovering the truth within ourselves and within the collective, diving into the unknown which is essential for each and every one of us, especially at this time. But the sage is having an energy of noticing that in many ways we can't change anything. We can only do, all we can do is change ourselves. 
which is really important. Magician is about alchemizing ourselves, you know, within our journey. We've got the ruler, becoming the wise ruler is a very important one. How do we how do we rule our lives and rule our own kingdoms? And we do that by raising our consciousness, but but thinking about how we can serve to support those within our community. So the ruler is an essential one there, you know. A creator being the creator of our lives, a lover card, you know, without it says that without uh, love, um, we don't enjoy life. You know, the soul doesn't really connect with life. Destroyer archetype. The destroyer archetype is is often destroying aspects of ourselves. Like the rebellious teenager, we can destroy aspects of our lives that don't serve us. But if we're coming from a place of darkness, we can burn bridges where we where we shouldn't be burning bridges. So that's one an important one to connect with as you connect with your own consciousness there you know the seeker card you know seeking a new life you know seeking the unknown as you go on your path you you look for new avenues and ways of living and being and seeking who you truly are so that you can live life in alignment with your soul caregiver archetype is is giving the unconditional love and care to your children your grandchildren and and even those of which you support, right? That's very much the, the aspect of the divine feminine, giving that unconditional love. But what's interesting about the caregiver, as you look at it, the shadow aspects of each and every archetype, the shadow of the of the archetype of the caregiver, is that you can become that suffering martyr where you don't care for yourself. So it's understanding the beautiful aspects of consciousness within these cards, but also the aspects within yourself that require healing or, or something for you to work through. So I would regard these as, as stages and phases of consciousness through the archetypes. So that's beautiful. Then you've got the warrior. We each have a warrior within us if we allow ourselves to connect with this. And this is standing in our power and strength. But the warrior tends to put on, on that suit of armor to fight and uh, get to where they want in life. But they don't tend to let their shields down so this is about how do you honor the self-love within yourself but how do you stand in your power and strength and do that at the same time so that you can fight for the life that you want and fight for the freedom of others as well but from a place of altruism so not just about yourself but also others orphan the orphan archetype is we've all got an aspect of the orphan within us where we've we may have been through some sort of neglect or an abuse. And this is honoring our own healing so that we don't come from a place of wanting to manipulate and change the environment, but noticing that we have to heal ourselves in order to shift and change the environment around us. The innocent is, is an aspect within ourselves where we, we grow up innocent to the world around us. Our parents teach us that the world is all sunshine and rainbows and then we wake up to realize but it isn't all that what our parents made out it to be. You know, so how do we awaken to innocence, innocence? Because when we go through a soul awakening experience, we may fall from innocence. So it's about shifting our consciousness within that. But we may go through phases at any time where we need to connect with that innocence within. That's a beautiful card. And these is the next few cards are the stages and phases of your soul pathway. I've got you know, the seven phases. So you begin your journey by your old self, living by old conditions of society, culture, religion, values and beliefs on passed on to you by your parents. So it, it's looking at your ego and your conditioning and what shaped you into the person you are today so that you can break, break free from those ego patterns and understand and serve yourself and what is in alignment and important to you. Then you go through a soul awakening experience and what happening, happens when you go through a soul awakening experience? You're awakened to aspects within yourself. And it's important to, to think about what are those aspects are you being awakened to so that you can disconnect from that ego consciousness and live from a place of soul-based consciousness, which brings you on to the third phase of your spiritual journey, which is that phase of self-inquiry. When we, when we have an awakening experience, we can tend to deny and reject that which comes from within us. So we can reject our ego, you know, or reject our wounds. 
And self-inquiry is, is really looking at what is coming from our ego, what is coming from our soul, so that we're not denying and repressing aspects of ourselves, so that we can move forward and we can embark on our journey in a way that serves us. You know, so that's essential. But it's it's often like walking in the mist. So I've got the mist card here, which I thought was beautiful. And then you've got the shift, which is the shift of consciousness and awareness as you step into who you are. Um, it may seem like a very small phase of your journey, but in fact, it's huge because that shift in consciousness is, is really um, t taking that step on your journey and um, having the courage to to take the road left, less traveled you know, there. So that is a beautiful car, but very, very important and noticing the shifts that you're going through within your own life, okay? I'll put those cards together. You've got the phrase of transcendence, transcending your consciousness and awareness. You will go through a road of trials where you grow, evolve and transform. And this is about looking at your trials and tribulations so that you can, you can Notice your obstacles as challenges in, in growth and not an, as a hindrance because each and every experience is shaping you into the person you're meant to be or you're becoming. So that's important. Then you've got the phase of unification and unification is becoming at one with yourself where you've become at one with your ego, yourself and your shadow. And you've integrated many aspects within your phase of transcendence. So you've worked through your shadow and many aspects within yourself. That's another beautiful card. And you've got the final card, which is your higher self. And your higher self is where you're finally, once you've gone through that phase of unification, you are living by your higher self and soul path where you where you are awakened to your journey, which is which is a beautiful thing. But we all need to go through that phase and in terms in so that we can live in purpose. And I believe we go on our journey to give back. So when you connect with your higher self, it's not only being aligned with your spiritual journey and soul pathway, but thinking about how you can give back and be of service to, to those people in your community. That's a beautiful card. But the reason why I've got these in here is because what you can do is you can do a reading, first of all, by picking one of these cards so that you can find out where you are on your spiritual journey. And then what you can do is choose a card from the rest of the deck or three cards from the rest of the deck so you know where you are on your journey. But you can then gain clarity of what it is that you need to work through within your mind um, with regards to the wounds or any other insights that may come from spirit with regards to your spirit animals. So that is that is my deck there. I hope you've, <laughs> hope you've enjoyed a sneak peek at it. What I thought I'd do is provide you with a quick reading as well. So it's maybe a bit of a longer video, but I thought I'd provide you with a quick reading. So what I do, lay out the cards. As we lay out the cards, I know they're in order, but don't worry, I'll um, just actually give them a bit of a shuffle. We might give them a little bit of a shuffle. And then they'll come out of order, but that's fine. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Hope you have uh, hope you like the deck. Let me know what you think of the deck as well. That would be much appreciated. I know I've got a few changes to make with with some of the borders around them. There's a few white borders around them. and It's the same with the front, but they need to just be cleaned up and the deck will be finished there. But I will just shuffle the deck and then lay them out. They're all stuck together a little bit. <laughs> So, not easy to do this while you're recording, but it's fine. Looks a bit muddled up, but that's that's okay. Just tune in the cards. Okay, I think we'll choose one from here. Choose one from them. Yeah, that's a good that's a card. And finally one more card, I feel like I think it's another one from around here. Let's pick that one. 
But what I will say is I've got a Kickstarter campaign coming up soon. And the Kickstarter campaign is for those of you who who would like to start using this deck and uh, connecting with it, maybe for your clients, maybe, maybe even for yourself. Um, but you can purchase the deck through the, the Kickstarter campaign. But what I will say is that I haven't quite set it up yet. I need to go through the process of doing that. I've only just received the cards in the post, but but yeah, hopefully the Kickstarter campaign will be available soon if you would love to purchase your own deck and connect with the cards. So let's uh, let's see what comes through the cards here. Okay, okay, we've got the ruler card, a lovely card. We've got the turtle card. Uh, sorry, the jaguar card. And I had the turtle card in my hand, that's why I was um, referring to it. So, first of all, we'll jump into the turtle card. I think the turtle card is one of my favourite favorite cards, to be honest, um, because it's it brings together all aspects of our spiritual journey, which is really, really important. So, But let me have a look which page number that's on in my booklet. Page number 35 is the turtle card, so I'll have a read of that. We'll see what comes through for the turtle. I'll bring that up as a talk about it so you can have a look at it. The spirit animal of the turtle invites you to honour the beauty of the sacred planet and all its living beings. Symbolically, turtles are known to be the most ancient symbol of Mother Earth. They teach you of love, respect, courage, honesty, wisdom and humility as they pass down knowledge from the ancestors. If you have chosen this card, then now is the time for you to connect with Mother Earth, to support you and guide you through life's journey. Though at times you may be slow and steady, soon enough you will find your way back home. And that's why turtles have their shell. So call upon the turtle to bring clarity and vision as you walk your own path with balance and harmony. Now, I think that's a beautiful card. I've said it's one of my favourite cards. One of my favourite cards is the turtle. And as I mentioned, you know, the turtle is, is about walking at your own pace. Take your own pace in life. We we don't need to get to a destination at a specific time. We can take our own time and soon enough we will find the destination at which we're seeking. And we will find our way home. But honour the journey you know, and have courage to walk your own path with humility of everybody that walks beside you as well. So that's a, a lovely card there. Let's look at what the other cards bring. So Jaguar, Jaguar is is about integrity and impeccability. You know, I pulled this I pulled this card out recently for a friend. So let's let's see where the Jaguar comes in, page thirty. Okay. Spirit animal of the Jaguar stands for integrity and impeccability. It teaches you to be impeccable with your word and have integrity with your actions. The Jaguar calls you to reclaim your inner power and to embrace your true soul essence. It also invites you to connect with your shadow as you awaken to who you are. If you've pulled this card, then now is the time for you to embrace the darker side of your life as you explore that which may have been previously hidden. When the Jaguar comes lurking, it is a time to resolve any inner conflicts, embrace the power of the unknown, and release the fears that you may have as you strive to live in truth. So that Jaguar is a beautiful card. And yeah, with regards to integrity and impeccability, often there are people that, that can say certain things and say they love you and honor and appreciate you, but their actions don't match up to that. And and sometimes that be, that's because they have unhealed aspects uh, within themselves that they need to work through. But when it comes to Jaguar and, and yourself with regards to these readings, it's about you being impeccable with your words and actions. Allow your words and actions to align with who you are so that you are showing up as integral, as authentic, so that you can love, honor, and appreciate everyone on their path as well, which which comes back to the turtle. Um, but you're but so that you're 
you're treating everyone in your life with that love and respect as well. So integrity and impeccability is essential when it comes to the Jaguar. It's a beautiful, beautiful card there. So then we bring, we come on to the ruler. And the ruler is the last card we've picked. And I spoke a bit about the ruler just, just earlier when we went through the cards. So let me, let me go back to my little booklet that comes with these cards. And we'll see what comes up for the ruler. Page 16. The ruler archetype is the control we, we have over ourselves and others. Initially, this may manifest in manipulative behaviors. We may feel helpless and willing to accept responsibility. When awakened, we find a unified state within that allows us to govern others as well as ourselves with integrity. If you have pulled this card, notice how you influence others and lead from the heart. Seek healing if you find that you're you feel powerless within certain aspects of your life. Develop new skills, utilize resources, and create structures which allow you to fa fairly and wisely rule um, your internal and external kingdoms. Yeah, very, very important. And again, that comes back to healing ourselves and, and knowing how we can serve in our best way from an integral place from our heart from a place of higher consciousness from a place of wisdom where we can we can pass on our lessons from that place of love and support in many ways it's looking about you know breaking down those old structures of of living and leading in many ways and, and finding a way where you can lead that is integral for you where you can see you can be of service in the best way for others from your own place of authenticity which again comes back to that integrity and impeccability with the Jaguar. So beautiful, beautiful reading there. And I hope you found that to be insightful, actually. This first reading I've ever done with my Soul Pathway Oracle card deck. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And what I will say is, is thank you for tuning in. Thank you for, for connecting with my videos. I hope you find them valuable, as well as finding this video valuable. If you have any questions or comments and if you would like a card deck for yourself, please leave them in the comments below or you can even contact me um, and we can speak about getting a, a card deck to you. But the Kickstarter campaign will be available very soon. So please stay tuned for more of those. Well, for another video where I'll, I'll mention the Kickstarter campaign. One thing I also, also wanted to mention that is that over the next week, because I've just received these cards, I wanted to provide some free readings. So for the first 20 people that would like a reading to connect with your soul and your spiritual journey, your soul pathway and your spiritual journey, and find out where you are and what it is you want to work through, then please feel free to reach out to me for a personal free reading where you will get an insight from my new Oracle card deck. And again, I hope you found them to be valuable as much as I have. I absolutely love these cards and it's been great connecting with spirit. So I look forward to sharing them all with you in the next upcoming videos. With that, I wanted to say thank you again for all tuning in. Take care of yourself and much love. Bye for now. Awaken your soul pathway and shift from self to soul. Visit www.awakenyoursoulpathway.co.uk and if you found this content to be valuable, please be sure to subscribe.